Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we started discussing nested loops in PHP. We understood that if required, we can place one loop inside another loop, which is called as nesting of loops. If required, we can place one loop inside another loop, which is called as nesting of loops. We understood different cases. Case 1, loops with same max values. We understood case 2, loops with different max values. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss case 3, dependent quadratic loops. We can use dependent quadratic loops to generate various patterns of numbers and stars. What is dependent quadratic loop? If inner loop iterations depend upon the outer loop counter variable value, such loop is called as dependent quadratic loop. If the inner loop iterations depend upon outer loop counter variable value, such loops are called as dependent quadratic loops. Remember that if the outer loop counter variable value is 0, the inner loop statements are going to get executed 0 times. If the outer loop counter variable value is 1, the inner loop statements are going to get executed once. If the outer loop counter variable value is 2, the inner loop statements are going to get executed 2 times. If the outer loop counter variable value is 3, then the inner loop statements are going to get executed 3 times and so on. Here, I have an example code for explanation. You can see that the inner loop has a condition j less than i. What is i? i is the outer for loop counter variable, right? For i equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. For j equal to 0, j less than i, j plus plus, echo star and echo br. Let's understand how this code is going to get executed and what output we get. I go to vamp server, www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say for $i equals to 0, $i less than 3, $i plus plus. Opening floor bracket, closing floor bracket. Here I say for $j equals to 0, $j less than $i, $j plus plus. Opening floor bracket, closing floor bracket, echo star and then move the cursor to the next line by saying echo br. Let's understand how this code is going to get executed. I'm going to copy this code from here. I go to MS Paint and paste that code here. And let me format it properly so that I can explain it clearly. We know that for the outer for loop, this is the first part. Condition is the second part. This entire body is the third part. And this is the fourth part. We know already how the for loop is going to get executed, right? First part will get executed first and then the second part will get executed. If the condition is true, then the third part will get executed. Then the fourth part will get executed. After executing the fourth part, the condition part will get executed again. If this second part condition is true, then the third part and fourth part will get executed and the loop will get continued. Otherwise, the loop will get terminated. For the inner for loop, this is the first part and then this is the second part. This is the third part. This is the fourth part. Let's understand how this code is going to get executed step by step. When the PHP engine visits here, i equal to 0 will get executed. So what happens here? PHP engine creates one memory location for i puts the value inside it 0 and then it checks the condition whether i is less than 3. 0 less than 3 is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute its body. It comes inside, finds again for j equal to 0. What happens? The PHP engine creates another memory location for j, puts the value inside it 0 and then it checks the condition whether j is less than i. j is 0, i is 0. 0 less than 0 is false. As the condition is false, this part will not get executed. Control comes down, guys. You can see that when i is 0, the inner for loop statements got executed 0 times. What happens here? Echo br will get executed. We'll get one blank line in the browser and the cursor will be on the next line here, on the second line, okay? After executing the third part of the outer for loop, the control goes to fourth part of the outer for loop, that is i++. i will be incremented by 1. i becomes 1. And then the condition will be checked whether i is less than 3. i is 1, 1 less than 3 is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute this body again. Control comes inside for j equal to 0 will get executed. j will be set to 0. And then the condition will be checked whether j is less than i. 
zero less than one is true. This time the condition is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute this body. Control comes inside. Echo displays the star in the browser, and then it goes to J plus plus. J will be incremented by one. J is going to become one, and then the condition will be checked whether J is less than I. J is one. I is one. One less than one is false. As the condition is false, the control comes down. You can see that when I is one, the inner for loop statements got executed once. We got one star. and then echo br moves the cursor to the next line after executing the third part of the outer for loop the control goes to the fourth part of the outer for loop i++ will get executed i is going to become 2 and then the condition will be checked whether i is less than 3 2 less than 3 is true as the condition is true it has to execute this body again the control comes inside for j equal to 0 will get executed j will be reinitialized back to 0 and then the condition will be checked whether j is less than i j is 0 i is 2 0 less than 2 is true as the condition is true it executes the echo displays the star in the browser and then j++ will get executed j will be incremented by 1 it is going to become 1 and then the condition will be checked whether j is less than i 1 less than 2 is true as the condition is true echo displays again one more star here in the browser and then j++ will get executed J is going to become two. Then the condition will be checked whether J is less than I. Two less than two is false. Two less than two is false. As the condition is false, control comes down. Echo moves the cursor to the next line. And then, after executing the third part of the outer for loop, control goes to the fourth part of the outer for loop. I plus plus will get executed. I is going to become three. And then the condition will be checked whether I is less than three. Three less than three is false as the condition is false the control comes down we get one blank line one star two stars like this i go back here i say file save go to the browser here i say localhost forward slash default.php i hit enter you see that default.php file is executed we got the output one blank line we got one star and then we got two stars you must understand that when the outer loop counter variable value is 0 the inner for loop or the inner loop statements got executed zero times so we got only one blank line when the outer loop counter variable value is 1 the inner loop statement got executed one times so we got one star when the outer loop counter variable value is 2 the inner loop statements got executed two times so we got two stars so what we can do here we can increment this condition value i just say here 5 i say file save go to browser and refresh You see that you get stars in the triangle fashion. If you do not want to get this blank space, what you can do is we can just set here one. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that we didn't get that blank line there. We can increase this condition to get more stars. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you get more stars. You can see that instead of displaying stars, let's display the value of i. I say here dollar i. I say file, save. go to browser and refresh you see that we get 1 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 5 5 5 666 like that i go back if i display the j value i say file save go to browser and refresh you get the output saying 0 0 1 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 like that so you can use dependent quadratic loops to generate various patterns of numbers and stars i hope you guys have clearly understood how the dependent quadratic loop works i suggest to people to watch this video again and again try this code yourself trace the code with different examples and understand clearly i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest to people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to get more information about php for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial